Let us consider a, an air bubble of radius r. Let r be the radius of the air bubble. The basic difference between an air bubble and a drop is an air bubble has both air outside its surface and inside its surface. So this air bubble is just a, just a surface which separates the outside air from that of inside. Then let the, this be the center of the air bubble. So let PO be the outside pressure and PI, I am just erasing this. and pi be the inside pressure since the concave surface is towards is facing towards the the center or inside pressure is greater than outside pressure pi greater than po and the difference in their pressure pi minus p0 is called the excess pressure so there will always be an excess pressure inside the air bubble so what this excess pressure do is this excess pressure do is which increases the surface area of this air bubble to a new radius dr so there is an excess pressure p inside the uh, inside the air bubble which increases its radius so we have the force force acting there will be a force acting radially outward in this direction that force F is equal to we have force is equal to pressure times area pressure here is the excess pressure and area of a sphere is 4 pi r square let's call that as equation number one and the work done by this force work done by this force W is equal to we have work equal to force times displacement displacement here is dr so the work done will be w is equal to p into 4 pi r square times dr let's call that as equation number two so this is the work done by the excess pressure but we also know work done work done is equal to surface tension surface tension into increase in area increase in area actually work done is equal to surface energy into increase in area but the value of surface tension is numerically equal to surface energy so instead of surface energy you can write surface tension also since there are two surfaces that is one inside here and one outside you have to put a two because of the two different surfaces, two surfaces, one inside and one outside. Therefore, the work done is equal to two times, let's call surface tension as sigma. Increase in surface area means the final area, final area is equal to 4 pi r plus dr whole square. That's the final surface area, this one, a final. And this one is the initial surface area, a i minus 4 pi r square now you have to simplify this that is work done w is equal to w equal to 2 times sigma 4 pi this can be expanded as r square plus 2 r dr plus dr square minus 4 pi r square so this is equal to w is equal to 2 sigma 4 pi r square plus 8 pi r dr plus this can be neglected because dr is small and dr square will be very small so 4 pi into dr square instead of dr square you can write 0 minus 4 pi r square you can cancel this one and this one so the work done will be 2 into 8 is 16 pi r 16 sigma 
sigma pi r tf. So this is the work done. Now let's look at the equation number 2 and 3. Both of them represents the work done, amount of work done. So you can equate 2 and 3, which means equation 2 equal to equation 3. You will get uh, P into 4 pi r square dr is equal to 16 sigma pi r dr. Cancel this dr and dr. This pi and this pi will get cancelled. So P is equal to 16 sigma r divided by 4 r square. So 4 in 16 4 times one of the r will get cancelled. So the final equation that is excess pressure P equal to 4 sigma divided by r. In case of bump, in case of the drop, we got P equal to 2 sigma by r. Here it is 4 sigma by r. Clear. Clearly, the with the increase in radius, the pressure decreases, and with the increase in surface tension, the excess pressure increases. Clear.